A poly pill. If I said to you we took a bunch of pills and put them in one, you'd say, well, why would you do that? Cardiovascular risk factors track. That means people who have high blood pressure tend to have elevated cholesterol or a little bit elevated cholesterol. They tend to have issues with their blood, so they tend to take a variety of medications. When people are asked to take multiple medications, certain things happen. Number one, they may not get all the medications they need. The second thing is, who wants to take a handful of drugs every morning and some more at night? One drug, once a day, with all of it in it, is much more effective at getting the drugs where they need to be. We worked with a company to produce a combination pill, three blood pressure lowering agents, a statin, and if needs be, an aspirin as well. It's a four-in-one pill or a five-in-one pill. It is true that it's a very simple concept, but the reason why it hasn't existed was different companies manufacture different drugs. So they don't really talk to each other, especially during the time when the drug is still on patent. There is relatively little incentive, at least financial incentive, to do the research to make combination therapies because they are generics and the revenues are relatively modest. This is almost a no-brainer. It should be done and it'll have a big impact. TIPS is a study, a polypill study. If we can show that a polypill works in areas where polypills are most needed. The interesting thing about a polypill is once the drugs go generic, it becomes extremely inexpensive to create, and therefore people who never had access to drugs before can actually obtain these medications. So we're running that study in places like India, the Philippines, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Tunisia, Malaysia, because we think that these are the places that would benefit the most and the people that may benefit the most.